Guys, it looks like my brand new Fender Player Series Stratocaster has arrived. You see the UPS truck? I hope he doesn't throw it from there. Uh, oh, I think I caught a glimpse of it. Just a little glimpse of it right there. Straight from Fender. Eh, I hope that's for me. I'm it's about the right time and it is coming UPS and it looks like a guitar doesn't it can you see that and so I have been there there it comes wait a minute I've been waiting for it I better open the door and receive it be back in just a minute all right guys so here it is, my brand new Fender Player Series Stratocaster, right off the UPS truck. And I saved you guys about 15 minutes of watching me open the box and get everything out. And at the same time that I uh, ordered the guitar, I ordered this Fender Strat. They're very nice, it's got Fender all over it. And it's one of the least expensive ones they have on the Fender website, if you're interested. I also ordered this Fender gig bag, which I really like. I think the part number is F620. If not, you can always mess uh, message me and I'll get the exact part number for you. But it seems to be uh, plenty thick, very cushiony on the inside. I like it and it's gonna serve me well. I went with that option rather than a hard case, simply because I do see myself taking this on some of the, the gigs that I might get and of course my gibson guitar comes with a hard case but lugging that around versus just putting this backpack style right and then the spark amp which is portable carrying that around i think will be much easier option for me so the question the big question why did i get just maybe three four what was it three weeks ago or so i got a brand new gibson it was the guitar of my dreams my retirement present kind of to myself. Um, I wasn't planning on getting another guitar, to be honest with you. I was very content with the Gibson. I figured we'd grow old, or I'd grow older uh, together with it. But I happened to be uh, in the... Uh, what happened was, many of you probably know by now, or you've seen either on social media or, or on the news or whatever, that Sam Ash is going out of business. It's just after Mother's Day uh, as I'm making this video. And so they're, they're still in business, but they've got big going out of business sales. I happened to be in there just kind of checking things out. Uh, Sam Ash was a store that I like to go to here in San Antonio along with Guitar Center and just hang out when I could. And um, you know try out a few guitars and try out a few amps i also play a little bit of the accordion so uh they had accordions as well and i would check those out and keyboards also anyway i went in there to to check things out while i was there i happened to see this guitar and um it wasn't exactly this guitar but i mean it was the same model same color and I noticed that uh, the price had come down on them. So these guitars were selling for $800, $799.99, right? That was a regular price for these guitars. Everybody kind of had them at that price. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with Sam Ash going out of business or what, if that just happened to be the timing. But that's when I noticed that the price had gone down to 600 basically $680, $120 less. They were $679.99, right? So I said, well, $120, that's a pretty good savings. And I've always liked these guitars. Now you have to understand, these are the Made in Mexico guitars. It's the Player Series, right? But over the past several, several months, maybe a year, year and a half even, as I was planning my retirement, I knew I was going to, to gift myself a, a guitar. And so I was looking at these. I was looking at the Made in Mexico series. 
And of course, I was looking at the Gibsons as well. I went with the Gibson simply because, you know, I'd been saving the money and I had the money to do it. And I felt like I deserved it, right? After years of working. And so I went with the Gibson, but I always had my eye on this guitar. And over the past many months, I've, I've looked at the reviews on it. I've done some research on it. And so I knew that I would be comfortable with having this guitar. But again, I went with the Gibson. I didn't forget about this guitar, but I said, well, I don't need another guitar. Until I was at Sam Ash, looked at the price. And then I remembered that my good friends over at Guitar Center had um, given me a 15% discount on my next purchase after I had purchased something else, right? And so I, I knew I had that 15% discount. And so now I'm thinking that with the sale price. And by the way, I checked um, Sweetwater and Guitar Center, as I said, and Musicians for several of those online uh, music stores. And pretty much everybody had them. Well, I think everybody that I checked did have them at that reduced price $679. So listen, for me, with everything that I have read and researched about these made in Mexico guitars, I think right now they are the best bang for your buck when it comes to the, the Fender Strats or Telecasters for that matter. Um, yes, there are lower price models like the Squires, right? They're higher price models, the American Maids. But here's the thing, you know, when you look into it, you find out that a lot of the parts are interchangeable and a lot of the parts that they use you know like the alder wood for the solid body uh the double cutaway um the maple neck a lot of the parts are interchangeable and you come to find out that a lot of the money that fender saves and one of the reasons they can sell the made in mexico for less money is not necessarily all about the quality build. A lot of it has to do simply because of the fact that labor is less expensive in Mexico. If you were to take two exact guitars with the same parts and have one made in Corona, California, and the other one made in Ensenada, Mexico, you find out that the one in Mexico is still going to sell for less money simply because the labor is cheaper. And by the way, if you're familiar with Corona, California, that area, and you just drive across the border over into Tijuana and keep going southeast, you end up in Ensenada, Mexico. It's not uh, that long of a drive. And it's my understanding that Fender does that all the time with their folks. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why I like this guitar, simply because the quality from, again, a lot of most of the reviews that I've read are very positive. The quality build, as well as the price point, um, even at $799, to be honest with you, I think is a very fair price nowadays, right? Because everything's more expensive nowadays. But even at $799, I think it's a fair price. At $679, I think it's an absolute bargain. At $579, which is what I got this one at, I really think it's a steal. And so I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it, even though I just got the Gibson. Um, I just felt, you know what, here's my opportunity to own the guitar of my dreams, the Gibson Les Paul, but at the same time, also own a Fender Strat. And so I went ahead and pulled the trigger and I think I'd made the right choice. I love this guitar. As I said, we just took it, or I just took it out of the box. We're, we're all looking at it kind of for the first time. Big concern I had, um, believe it or not, when I got it out of the box was, and I should have showed you, I just moved everything out of the way so that it wouldn't be all around me, but uh, it just comes in a very plain cardboard box with basically, I guess it's a synthetic paper material. It's not bubble wrap. I thought it would have bubble wrap, but it didn't. It just it was just wrapped in that synthetic paper type material, very thin. Uh, so I was really concerned, but I, I've been looking at it. 
and I don't see any dings, scratches, nicks, nothing. So my hat's off to the UPS guys. They did a great job um, in, in getting it. But anyway, I ended up purchasing this guitar, the exact one that I saw at Sam Ash for $6.79. I ended up getting it at Guitar Center because, only because I had that 15% 15 discount on it. But it's the exact same guitar, same color, same color pick guard. I really like this color. Now, a couple of things um, that I have learned is that there's two main differences from the ones that are made in Ensenada, Mexico, and the ones that are made in Corona, California. One is the electronics. I don't know exactly what they mean by electronics other than, of course, the pickups. That is different in how they're manufactured. Um, and then the other thing is not necessarily in the color, but the finish of the color, if that makes sense. So it's my understanding that the ones in Mexico have a polyester type finish and the ones that are made in Corona, California have a urethane or polyurethane type finish. Now, when you look at this guitar, I mean, it is, abso it is absolutely beautiful. I still have, I still have some wrapping to take off. I haven't completely finished unwrapping everything, but um, it is just an absolutely gorgeous finish. And so, listen, more power to you if you can tell whether this is a polyurethane or polyester type. I don't, I can't tell the difference. The same thing with the electronics, folks. Uh, I can't tell the difference. So for me, at this moderate to mid price range, not too high, not too low, I'm really happy. And I do think this is the best bang for your buck that you can get on a Fender Strat right now. Almost everything on Fender guitars anyway, as you know, is customizable. You can take out, if you want to do more with the tuners, you can get locking tuners. You can change pickups, you can change the neck. Basically everything right on the guitar can be changed if that's what you want. But again, I'm sticking to the way it is at the price point that I got it at. I'm really happy. I encourage you. And as of the making of this video today, there's still $679.99 most places. So I encourage you to uh, at least go out and look at them, try them out. If you've, if you've been thinking about getting one like me, believe me, now is a great time to do it because of the price. All right, so that's kind of the reason why I ended up with a Fender Strat. And I'm about to, got, I just turned the amp on, plugged it in literally just before I hit record. And I kind of just tuned it by ear. Now this brings up a question that I've been wondering, um, and some of you may have a more definitive answer. Uh, does Fender set up the guitars before they ship them out? I don't know. Now I noticed the guitar was pretty much in tune except for the B string. Uh, it was slightly out of tune. And it's still, I, I feel like the strings are still stretching quite a bit because um, I'm having to keep, to keep retuning it. But it seemed like somebody tuned the guitar um, at the factory. So that makes me wonder, maybe they did set it up. Uh, I do notice that the height string, the action, seems to be okay, at least to my liking. But it'll be worthwhile for me to take a, uh, some measurements later on and make sure that everything seems to be okay. The profile of the neck seems good, but like I said, it'll be good to, to spend a little time doing that after I end this video and in the next day or two. At any rate, um, let's take a listen to it together. Now, if you've watched um, the last video of mine or the last couple of videos, you know that I I'm not a big fan of doing these sound checks. And even when uh, folks do these, you know, guitar comparisons and amp comparisons, I'm not a big fan of those. And the reason is, if you're watching me right now through your cell phone, you know, most of the YouTube videos that I see, I just watch over my cell phone, to be honest with you. Uh, but even if you're watching me through a, a computer or a laptop, think about how big the speakers are or how small they are 
and the sound quality that you're getting through your cell phone or your computer. Um, so when you're comparing amplifiers, for example, and I, and I see these uh, YouTube videos, then I go into a store and I try the amp that I fell in love with over a YouTube video. I come to find out the sound is, is nowhere the same. In some cases it's better. And in some cases I'm like, but well, that's not the way it sounded like when I watched it over my, you know, over my cell phone. That's why, now the other thing is I don't even have a mic um, next to the amplifier. So the sound you're gonna hear is as good of the sound as you have on your cell phone or your laptop or whatever you're watching me on. But that's why I don't like to play for 10, 15 minutes because it doesn't matter. The sound you're hearing, it's going to be negligible anyway, depending on the speakers you have. And I'm going to play it without, I'm just tuning it by ear. So if you've got your guitar and you want to tune your guitar to mine, please don't because we're both going to be off tune. But let's see what, we, what we've got on this I, I feel from my perspective, from my point of view, that it's got that, you know, that, that uh, very well-known Fender sound. changing the uh, pickup and of course it's got the five uh, position selector yeah that's a little more bluesy right sound uh, I can tell immediately the difference between this and the Gibson um, again I have never owned an electric guitar I've exclusive exclusively played acoustics and in classical guitar as well but I've never owned an electric guitar so I'm really learning basically everything there is to know a little bit at a time about electric guitars. I understand now the difference between that Fender sound that you hear and the Gibson sound that you hear. And I gotta tell you for, for, uh, for what it's worth, um, I like both sounds and I, I write a lot of my own songs and so I can, as I'm playing this for the first time, I can already, in my mind, I'm saying, well, I'm gonna use this sound for this song and the Gibson for this song and the acoustic for this song. So I like to have that variety um, incorporated now that I'll be able to use for, for different songs when I do a gig. Typically I only do one hour gigs anyway and so uh, I think this is going to fit right in with what I want to do. So that's pretty much the, uh, the video on why I got the Fender Stratocaster and how I got it and how much I paid for it at this time. 
And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you've been kind of teetering on the edge of, well, should I, should I get a Fender Strat? Uh, the Made in Mexico series, which again, I can't stress this enough. And here's the thing, folks. Uh, I mean, I'll be blunt. I, I certainly could have purchased uh, the American-made Strat. I certainly could have purchased the, the Squire, which I've read a lot of good reviews as well. But again, all things considered, I felt like this was the guitar for me. And if you're teetering on, on the edge of, well, which one is right for me, you can do no wrong by going into the into a music store if you if you're able to if you've got one close by and spend an hour or two try the different guitars out because I have to tell you that this guitar for me uh, it just felt right and I am convinced and there's no better feeling than when you're sure you made the right decision and I I have that feeling about this guitar so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or even better, subscribe to my channel so I know that um, you want more content like this. And um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.